just wanted to show you something that I just got. It is a 20 inch Toshiba combo VHS DVD player. Um, this is the biggest TV I've purchased so far, so it is gonna be challenging to get it packed up. Lots of styrofoam. Um, FYI, Zeke is filming. You wanna say hi? No? Okay, he doesn't want to say hi. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, <laughs> and test it out. I've got Goonies. I've got Ferris Bueller's Day Off. We're going to check this out, see if it's working, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So, it looks like the VHS is working. Um, we actually ended up getting a free DVD that was already in there, so that happens a lot with some of these combos. So we got we get the Avengers, Marvel Avengers. So everything's working good with the VHS. Now we are gonna see about the DVD. Let's see, this is the best. Look at that hair. 80s, love it. And testing the VCR, everything's working. Ah, classic, good old Goonies, best movie ever. So, gotta test it out. Uh, I bought this one for twenty dollars. Probably gonna list it, maybe one seventy. Um, What's one seventy? For one hundred and seventy dollars. So, and I'll let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is a um, disc, disc changer, Pioneer disc changer that I got the other day, and I am about to test it out. Um, and I also got this one, which needs to be cleaned up, another Pioneer um, digital signal processor. And these ones I actually got for free, so this guy on Let Go uh, was giving these away for free. He also gave me this one, but I just tested it out and that one's a DVD 3 changer and it's not working. So, um, But yeah, I'm going to test these two, see how they're working and hopefully they're working and so then I can post them and zero cost. Okay, so tested it out and everything looks good. Um, I will probably need to... Um, hook it up to stereo system, make sure all those, the lines um, in and out are working. Ow. And that one actually, I thought it was 100, but it's actually 25. Um, so the prices kind of vary on eBay. There is, you know, one person who's selling it for $30, there's another person selling it for $100. And there's people who have bought it for like $70, so kind of, you know, Hopefully the person who's selling it for $30, just somebody buys it and gets out of the market and everybody else is selling it for the 70 to 90 range. So sometimes that happens on eBay where somebody is selling something for super low and it kind of messes up with the market. Um, but once you get that person sells their things, then, you know, if everybody else is listing their stuff for 70 to 90, then, you know, then that's the price that you have to pay. So, um... So that's good. I'm glad that this one is working and uh, I'll probably get it posted today. So I'm testing this one right near, which is the Pioneer Digital Signal Processor. Um, I will need to plug it in and make sure, um, again, the lines are working, but I did notice one issue, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sell it, but the volume, the volume is not changing the way it should, it's kind of going random numbers, um, so I don't know, 
and we'll see what happens. But worst case scenario, again, um, everything's powering on and, you know, it might just be something small that someone else can fix. Um, and so I can just donate it to Goodwill and somebody who knows a little bit more about this stuff can fix it. Okay, well, I've got some more electronics to test. Mm, what do I got here? VHS player. Um, Mitsubishi. Hmm. Um, HS-339 UR. So I'll test that one out. Um, I got a Marantz. And that is a tuner. Um, and then I got these all for 50% off. Sorry, I just ate a Starburst and now my mouth is all weird. Um, $7.99, those are all half off. They're having like a 50% sell. And then I got a Shark VCR. So I did plug all these in at the store and they all did, you know, they all did power up, but obviously, you know, I need to go ahead and check and see, um, if everything is working, the VCRs and if for some reason they aren't working, I can return these to Goodwill. Um, they will only give you a gift card, but you know, I'm always shopping there either way. So, um, I'll, you know, I'll get my money back. And just buy something else. So I'm gonna pick out. I'm gonna do best in show just because the other day I was testing out a VCR and it ate my tape. Um, and I got it finally, was able to get it out, but it was Ferris Bueller and I was gonna be really, really upset if it ate that tape, but I got it out. So now I'm going to test it out with this movie that I don't really like that much. So if it does try to eat my tape, I can get over it. So as you can see, it ate my tape. And now my tape is stuck in there. <sighs> so annoying. So I gotta try to get it out of there. I don't know. So this one, definitely going to return that to the store. That's one thing that can be really annoying with electronics is that sometimes they're broken. Um, you know, sometimes you can sell them for parts or repair, but not VCRs. There's, there, that's not going to work. Um, so I'll have to return this one. Okay, people, wish me luck. Uh, Again, I went to this Goodwill while I was on my lunch break. Usually I do, I will put um, VHS tape to kind of also see if, uh, if you know, it's rewinding, fast forward, playing, giving me those type of options. But I didn't this time. I just bought the electronics and I had to go. I had already gone to the surplus store and the Goodwill, so really needed to get back to work. Um, so... Okay, well, it looks like everything's working. I tried another video because the Pilates one was kind of, the, the image wasn't very good, so I just wanted to make sure maybe if it was just that videotape, and it was, because this one looks great. Um, did the fast forward, rewind, stop, rewind, all that stuff. So, yes, got one working, so that's good news. Hi guys, so I got these um, DKNY overalls. Um, I actually got these at the surplus store for a dollar. And uh, they're from the 1990s. Um, they've got the logo on the side. They got the logo up here. And, you know, I guess this stuff might be coming back. Um, some people got it listed for $40, $60. I haven't seen any sold, but um, I thought they were pretty cool, so picked them up. Okay, 
So not to freak anybody out, but I went a little overall crazy. And um, so surplus store for some reason, um, I don't know, they had a ton of overalls there. I don't know if they got left behind at the airport because of the metal um, that they, people couldn't get through the metal detectors or is the surplus store just uh, got us shit, you know, some type of old clothes from somewhere, but I decided to try my hand at some overalls. Um, some of the prices online, the selling prices seemed all right, and um, I got these each for a dollar, so I'm going to see how I do with those. Um, let's see what brands. So this one is Baby and Me, so that is for, that's maternity, so you want to want to look cool when you're having the baby. Um, this one is Gap. Gap blue jeans. And this one, let's see, what is this one? Country seat. So again, I've never sold overalls, but for some reason, uh, I just thought these might be something that people buy. And let's see how it goes. And also, here's a clip of the surplus store. This is from a really long time ago when I actually had my hair long. Um, but just wanted to show you kind of what I'm talking about uh, when I'm going to the surplus store. Okay, guys. So I'm here. I'm about to go inside. So just want to show you. This is usually where I find, um, you know, different type of office equipment, um, time stamps, staplers, different things. They're usually more industrial office type stuff, but it you can find some really good. Uh, this is also where you can pick up knives. Um, so our surplus store, again, I think I've mentioned, mentioned this before, but they get all the stuff from the airports. So anything that you've um, left at the airports, um, clothes, knives, watches, that they all come to the state surplus store and are sold here. Uh, well, I'll try to film a little bit inside and show you if I find anything. Mm -hmm. 